Hi right, guys, good morning. Welcome back to Everyday with me, Nick. Um, this one's going to be an odd one. Uh, completely different from the normal. The long-term viewers of you, you know, of you guys who watch, have watched my videos for a while have, will have noticed that, well, I'm not afraid to say it, but my weight fluctuates. It goes up, it goes down, and I do something about it, and, we, you know, we're, we're all right, and then we're back up again, and then we're back down again. Sometimes life and work just gets in the way of exercise, and, well... It is where it is. You've just got to get, you You know, you've got to try and find a compromise, I think is the best way of putting it. Compromise of, yeah, just, try, just trying to get some exercise mixed in amongst um, your routines that you've got. Now, some of the tasks I do are very strenuous. However, they're not, they're not real exercise to get that heart rate up, to get the, the body doing what it needs to, to, you know, lose that weight, I guess. So... That's that's my take on it. I might not be scientifically scientifically correct on that one, but that's my take on it. Anyway, so what we're going to do about it? Well, I've got a mountain bike. I've got a hardtail uh, Trek Excalibur Seven. It's an excellent bike. Um, I put some uh, marathon uh, Schwal Schwalbe marathon plus tires on them. Well, if anybody knows anything about them tires, they are. I think they're the best on the market, to be honest with you. I've covered hundreds of miles on them, and they're just great. Now, that um, that being said, it, hon it only has um, nine, nine gears on the rear cassette, two up front, nine at the back, so the gear ratio isn't for the road. You know, it, it, that's, that's, that's to be expected. It's a mountain bike. Hardtail mountain bike. When the when it come with it, it come with like two point four inch tires on them, you know. So they were they were equipped for taking on the trails. So like I say, I, I do a majority 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 majoritively. There we go. Majoritively on the road, nice and easy. Like I like them. I like them kind of miles. Um, and it all was good. You know, it was all right. But where I live, there's a hellish amount of hills. There's a, a, everywhere I have to go to, for about for about I don't know seven seven miles, it's all hills. So you're out. You don't even get a chance to warm up before you're up at you're up a you know one in three, something like that, and it's fairly steep. So what do we do about it? Well, I had to go with my pal's e-bike a few weeks ago. Well, about a couple of months ago now, and. Um, yeah, just a different league altogether. So it got me inspired to maybe get one. So what did we do? We got one. <laughs> we got one. Well, I got one. This bike here is the Cube Reaction Hybrid Pro 625. Um, it comes with the Bosch uh, Performance CX motor in it, 85 newton meters comes with a 625 watt hour battery concealed in the frame quite good quite good specs on the bike to be honest um, it's got the Schwalbe smart sams 2.6 inch I think they are the rear cassette on that is actually bigger than the rear rotor that's that's absolutely crazy um, it's quite there's some decent specs. I'll leave a link down below with a, a link to the Cube's website to uh, to show the specs on this. Um, this is a medium frame, which when I went online and checked out what size frame I needed, a medium was advised. However, just look how low that seat is uh, to them 29 inch big old fat tyres on them. So there's not much. Not much between there. I think a small frame would have been more ideal for this. Um, so yeah, uh, MiG 29, 32 shocks on there. Exfusions, I think they are. Yeah, Exfusion, decent, decent fork. The lockout absolutely solid as well. That's that's really nice. Yeah, when you turn that to lock them out, they really do lock solid. So this is going to be maiden voyage. I was going to uh, bring you along with a GoPro, but the GoPro is deciding to turn off every 30 seconds, so there must be something wrong. Battery might be uh, finally had it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to uh, going to get. I'm going to try and 
get to so i'm going to do a route that i've already done on strava that with my um trek excalibur 7 i'm going to do a route that i've already done and i know how long it normally takes me and what the what, what it's like and um, i'm going to compare it against this with this bike i already know what the uh, outcome is going to be like there's a lot of hills on this 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 ride so it'll be interesting to see how we how we go um it's 10 mile it's all road um i'm not sure what the elevation gain and everything is but we'll uh, we'll find that out uh when we run uh strava but i'm gonna run strava on the phone i've got the um i've only got the bosch purion uh display on this i'm thinking of upgrading because it's not very good it's um it's not very interactive <clears throat> um i've got a bike computer on the trek excalibur 7 which is the garmin it's a garmin one i can't remember it's something 400 maybe uh it's a hellish display it, it displays everything i need and it uploads to um to me to me phone i'm going to set the garmin app going as well just so i've got that recorded on here because yeah i've got a few rides totted up on there so anyway i'm babbling on let's get uh, on this bike i won't be able to do many much video whilst i'm riding with the phone obviously it's a bit dangerous but i'll stop at a certain points and you know and, and go through with what, I, what i've experienced i think that's the best way so right let's get on it guys it's actually disgusting i'm taking the bike back it's no good i'm out of breath no honestly guys right i think i've averaged from my house so far i think i've done nearly two miles 16 mile an hour now it wouldn't normally be like that it's disgusting absolutely disgusting how easy to steer at a 16 mile an hour cruising speed is i mean don't get me wrong i must be out of shape because i am feeling it a bit hold on I'm not going to do much of these, so, um, but yeah, so I've just gone up like one of the main inclines out of my village, like nothing, in tour mode, absolutely beautiful, I'll spin you, that's the Purion display, you can see, I'm not going crackers, just to, a different level altogether if you want to get out there and you've got some mountainous terrain that you can't tackle on a normal uh, pedal bike you know normal unassisted then the only way you know is to get out on an e-bike <laughs> Right, I'm signing off for now, I'm going to, uh, yeah, right, bye. Well, here we are again, guys, back on the on the camera. This is a quiet back road. It's nice, nice enough to get on the, uh, give you guys an update. Just behind me on this road, I'll link all these to Strava. <clears throat> it's nothing crazy, but honestly, was having a fire. Um, oh, I just changed gear. <coughs> so yeah, um, that, that bit behind me is hellish. It's a hill that usually killed me on my standard pedal bike, even with the nice thin tyres. And uh, I've just come up that at 16 mile an hour. It's disgusting, absolutely disgusting. I, I don't endorse, I don't endorse the fact that, well, e-bikes, e I don't know if this is gonna be too windy, but e-bikes really don't make the difference. So, Right, so we're back home now, <clears throat> in the safety of our uh, 
on the ground so no one's going to knock us off and the wind noise isn't unbearable um the stats ah i didn't even see how fast i did it in see if it'll stay right so you can't <laughs> record and, and uh, multitask on well let's go on camera who do you um right so i've got some stats for you so the same route that i've done uh 10 point three eight or ten point four depends on what little bits of riding i did like afterwards so we're going to call it like ten point three miles <clears throat> um on the uh trek excalibur seven gen like normal pedal bike uh i did my last run uh last ride out uh 44 minutes and 41 seconds <clears throat> riding time it said <clears throat> uh average speed of 13.8 mile an hour which that's uh that's not a, not a bad speed actually it's fairly good uh max speed of 33.7 miles an hour so again that's, that's it's, a, it's a good uh it's good for the bike you know i, I think the fact that I, I i ran out of gears on the trek x scale 7 with that being like nine gears but the ratios were quite the setup the setup for mountain bikes <clears throat> calories 881 now again that's just going off the strava uh, information that it's got i do have a heart rate monitor but it's, the battery's uh, ran out on it so i'm gonna have to get that put uh, put one in there so we can get an accurate reading now the e-bike, the Cube Reaction Hybrid Pro 625, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> it's got a hell of a name. Uh, well, straight away I knew I knew the ride was going to be quicker. That's That was a given. And enjoyable. That, I think that is the word I want to sum it up with, is enjoyable. That ride, when I used to do it, I used to hate the first, I don't know, let's say, let's say 20 minutes. 25 minutes because it was just an uphill slog all the way i should have looked at the elevation i forgot to look at that anyway um i'll put it in sort of here so the elevation is somewhere here but yeah the first 20 minutes is is a slog and it's just not not enjoyable and i don't i don't like it so um the e-bike time 38 minutes and 24 seconds now i that was riding time. I, I, it, it actually recorded longer time because I, I was setting things up here when I press go. Then I was talking to uh, my mate's mum just up the road. So, you know, it is. But riding time was 38 minutes and 24 seconds. So that's uh, six minutes slow, uh, faster. It's Is it worth the, the money that you've spent on an e-bike? Yes. Yes, yes, and a and hundred times yes. Just absolutely. <laughs> Average speed, 16.2 miles an hour. <laughs> I told you on that video, I was just cruising at 16 miles an hour. It was just lovely. Uh, if it was de-restricted, you could set that speed so you can get up to wherever your speed you set it at. I think the UK law should just tweak this speed just a little, little bit. 20 miles an hour, I think. They're on about ch uh, putting a cap on the speed limit at 20 miles an hour. I think that would be absolutely ideal for uh, commuting and road, road use. So yeah, 16.2 mile an hour average. Max speed, 39.1 <laughs> mile an hour. I did not think this bike would get up to that speed, but I think because of the weight behind it, it can get up to that speed. You know, it's 20, 27 kilos, I think the bike weighs with the battery, and the battery weighs three kilos, I think, by itself. So it's it's a fairly, fairly stout bike. <clears throat> Calories, 538. So I'm actually down like 300 and 350 calories almost on, on the um, on the Strava's, um, predict, you know, workings out regards to calories. But I think that overcomes the next stage of it. So yes, you are lower on calories. However, I felt like I could go further. I could then bike another 10 miles. I felt like I could. I don't feel sore. Well, I do. My legs, I do feel a little bit. But the seat's nice. It's on the bike. <clears throat> it's lovely. But yeah, I felt like I could go and do the extra 350 calories a bit further. So that means that my mileage would have increased. But I think that's just all down to the e-bike. Just can't. I can't say how, how good it feels to just have that assist when needed. Now, I was... Um, 
going through the different um, modes. So I don't think I don't think I actually had it in eco mode ever. I had it in tour quite a like majority of of the ride. <clears throat> EMTB a good bit again, um, and and turbos up some of the steeper hills. But there she is, absolute beast. And I mean, look at them tires. I did not think I could get some decent speed on them tires, but yeah, they they do they roll and ride very nice. Um, I put the seat up a bit more. The frame size. I was umming and ahhing about the frame size being right or being wrong, but now all that's behind me. It's uh, it's completely right for me. So, yeah, fantastic bike. Um, would recommend it for anyone who was wanting to get out and get some weight lost and everything else like that. Just um, it just gives you the confidence to to go out there and do it. <clears throat> so. Right, that's me done then. Um, thanks for watching. I know this has not been a, a normal video, but honestly, I feel like this has needed to be, you know, passed out there. Let's not let's not have this stigma that we um, everything's all hunky dory. We all we all have issues. We all have problems. <clears throat> I need to lose weight. You can see that on some of the videos. I've got a kite going on the belly. <laughs> so yeah, let's just do something about it. This, is, this video is not in, uh, sponsored or endorsed by Cube at all um, or by the Electric Bike Shop, I think it was. I'll leave a link to their website though down below. I got this out of my own pocket. <laughs> I'm reviewing it with my own honest opinion. If Cube want to come in and um, help uh, with me with anything, it would be to update or upgrade, sorry, the display that's on this bike. It's it's naff. It's, there's no interactive. Um, with it there's no interaction with it it's just standard so yeah well done cube i do like the bike i do like it right guys right well let's get on to the next thing i don't know what that is but uh from me and the cube reaction hybrid pro 625 let's go and do the next job bye now guys